Hi, I'm John Hernandez, commercial photographer and educator from Barcelona. A few weeks ago, we bought new monitors for our studio, and honestly, I was surprised how easy it was to decide for BenQ. Right now, there is no other option in the market that offers a screen with such quality at that price range. Obviously, there are better screens out there, but the prices can easily double or triple, and the differences are very little. The harder part was to decide about the size and the resolution, as BenQ is offering a huge range adapted for all needs. It is important to understand that BenQ makes all kinds of monitors, but the ones that are really made for photographers are the SW range. The SW are monitors that allow hardware calibration, something extremely needed for color accuracy. In that range, BenQ offers four monitors, a 24-inch 2K, 27, 2K and 4K, and 32-inch 4K. The famous 2K or 4K means the resolution of the screen, basically how many pixels has the monitor in the panel. 2K means the panel has 1920 by 1200 pixels, while 4K means it has 3840 by 2160 pixels. You can also find QHD screens like the SW2700 that has a resolution of 2560 by 1440 pixels, something in between 2K and 4K. This is something really important for a photographer because more pixels doesn't mean always better. The size in pixels will define the amount of desktop space that we have available. For example, if I have Photoshop open in this SW240, which is a 24-inch 2K, I will see the interface like this. Well, if I have it in this SW271, 27-inch 4K, I will see it like this. Obviously, the icons are smaller and I have more space, but that could be a problem when I want to retouch. When I work on an image, in most of cases, I work at 100% resolution. So basically, one pixel of the image is one pixel in the screen. That means that if I try to visualize the image at 100% on a 4K screen, I will have less zoom than if I do it in a 2K. In my case, to retouch an image, work on skin, tones, masking zones, etc., I prefer to do it in a more zoom, seeing the image closer. That's why I prefer to work on two screens of 24 inch and 2K than in one of 27 or 32 inch 4K. The combination of having two screens of 24 inch gives me the options of having that desktop space allowing me to have my email in one screen and Photoshop in the other, multitasking much faster from one thing to the other. On the other hand, in the studio, I work tethering my camera to the monitor, and I like to be able to see an accurate and calibrated preview of my shooting. For that, I prefer to work with a 32 inch as the size helps me to see a bigger image from further away and still have space for the tethering software interface. At the end, the choice of the size of a screen is a very personal thing and depends a lot on the size of your desk. A 32 inch screen on a standard table can be really big, but if you need the maximum desktop space possible, for example as a video editor, that could be the perfect screen. If you mainly do photography, ask yourself if it would make more sense to buy two 24 inch 2K monitors or one 27 or 32 inch 4K. The cost of the SW240 is nearly the half of the SW271, and now that you have a special offer where BenQ gets you the SW240 hood for free, there is more than ever a very interesting option to consider. In any case, any of the BenQ SW monitors are perfect for photography. All of them allow hardware calibration, 99% Adobe RGB, 100% as RGB, response times of 5 milliseconds, enough brightness, and everything you could ask from a professional screen. As I mentioned, I decided for 224-inch 2K for my desk and 132-inch 4K for the studio. I hope this video could help you to decide what monitor or monitors are the most suited for your needs.